Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and this is week 31 of my doing 100 weeks of YouTube videos and focusing on living a healthier and happier life. So yay for week 31. So um, I realize I haven't made a video in like the last two or three weeks for my weekly videos, and I was going to try to separate them out, and I kept telling myself I was going to make them, and then I did not. And um, I'm frustrated with myself for having not done that. Um, and at this rate, I feel like I'm never going to finish my 100 weeks of videos, but I'm very stubborn, so <laughs> I'm going to keep plugging away at it. And so I've just decided to um, kind of just do three weeks all in one again. One of these days, I will get in the habit of doing it every single week, and it will be fantastic. Um, so I'm going to just try to go over some stuff for the past three weeks, and it's all going to be jumbled together in my brain, in my memory. And I'm going to try to follow my little goal sheet thing to see if it won't help me jog my memory as to what I did or didn't do for the past three weeks. I really need to be looking at this every day. And I keep telling myself, if I look at this every day, what my goals are and what I need to do for the day, then I will get through this stuff and it will get done and it will be fantastic. But I don't look at it every single day and then I don't know what I'm doing. And then the end of the week comes and I was like, oh, crap, I have to do stuff. So... Um, let's start with socially. So socializing and my goals for socializing, which I don't remember the last time I read those on here is just to like, um, contact people. So like text, email, call a friend or family member every day. I have not done that. Um, I've probably made a Marco Polo video every week to send to my family, but that's about it. Um, I have talked to a few friends. Um, in fact, last week on Monday, I, um, I went for a walk. I actually returned something I borrowed from a friend. So I called a friend, um, the Friday before. Yeah, it was the Friday before to borrow a hand mixer and then I returned it on Monday. So that's kind of like the last two weeks, um, talking to someone and, um, the Friday before, so we could go Friday. I did stuff with my daughter because it was for her birthday, so that was fun, um, which is why I borrowed the hand mixer, so that's socializing that I was doing. But I also ran into my Brazilian friend, so we went for a walk, so that's also kind of goes with my physical and exercising, but also just hanging out with a friend unexpectedly and also running into other people in the neighborhood on the walk, so it was kind of a nice socialization for me. Um, unfortunately, the temple was closed for cleaning for the past two weeks. Um, and even more unfortunately than that, I chose not to go for the past three weeks to the temple on Fridays to clean, which I could have done when it was closed for cleaning. I just couldn't go on Saturday for two weeks. Um, I did go this past Saturday, but the two weeks before that I did not because it was closed. Um, so I don't have an excuse for having not gone those Fridays. Um, no, that's not true because a week ago Friday, I didn't go because I went to um, hang out with my daughter for her birthday and I didn't get back in time to go help clean. And the week before that, I sent a message asking to, because I wanted to clarify what time we were cleaning because I thought I was going to be going to hang out with my kids. Um, I didn't, wanted to make sure I was going to be back in time and nobody sent me a text back as to what time we were supposed to be there. And I kind of knew what it was, but I wasn't sure, so I just didn't go. And then... Um, Anyway, this last week, I just didn't go. I don't remember why. I think I was just tired, and then I was just, yeah. I got disappointed because I didn't do a whole bunch of stuff, and so then I just stopped doing anything, which is one of those irritating things that I do. And I don't know if it's an ADHD thing, a PTSD thing, or just a, um, I don't know what thing. <laughs> Probably an I don't know what thing. But basically, I if I get disappointed or discouraged with myself because I haven't done things or things didn't work out the way that I wanted to, that I just have a tendency to shut down and not do anything else. And when I get in moods like that, it's really hard to break out of it and it's really hard to get myself to do something. So um, I didn't do stuff or things didn't work out the way that I wanted them to on Friday. So then I just didn't go and clean and I just didn't do anything else. And then I just get really annoyed with myself the next day because then I, uh, more stuff, it, it just kind of snowballs into stuff that I'm disappointed with and discouraged. And then it's like this downward spiral. And then it's really hard to flip it around and like, I gotta come back up again. So um, last week on Monday, I mean, I, I've done that like every weekend for the last three weekends. So last week on Monday, I was like, I gotta pick myself up because I didn't even go to church. So I'm like, I have to do everything last week on Monday. And then I kind of overdid. And then the rest of the week I did do some things. I just struggled to do the rest of it, including videos like this one. So, um, and I don't, um, so 
I know I went to church. I didn't go to church. I went to church this last Sunday, but I didn't go to church the week before. And not for any particular reason. I just didn't want to get out of bed and I just didn't want to go. So again, one of those things. And then of course I regretted it later and then I just kind of spiraled into nothing again. So um, yeah, going to church, um, going to many activities as possible. I just kind of avoided everything <laughs> except for, you know, I did stuff with my daughter for her birthday. So that was good. Um, and my callings, I just answered that, answer my phone. I've been trying to do that. Um, I do ignore phone calls. I don't know, especially if I'm at work or I don't recognize the number. I'm not answering those ones. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's about it that I can read on here. Um, so emotionally making my videos did not do a very good. I did pretty good for the um, first two of the last two weeks. Um, but this last week I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't the last week before. So literally yesterday, I think I made like one big long video to make up for an entire week of not making videos. So <laughs> I did not. And then I like didn't do anything on the weekend. So I had no videos to make because I didn't do anything. Um, so yeah, I haven't been the best at making my videos. I have gotten myself to journal. Um, I've still kind of been cheating on that, but that's okay. I don't care. I have a journal entry for every single day, but I think I went like three days without writing in my journal or like two days or something. And I wrote on Sunday for like Saturday, Friday and Saturday. And then I wrote on Sunday, Monday morning, and then Monday night, which I don't normally do that, but I did that a week ago just because I didn't want to skip a day, but I didn't want to, um, wanted to still journal. So I've still been journaling about everything, even if I haven't been doing things, which is why I think it's helped me to keep going forward and not continuing to spiral downwards, um, especially when Monday comes around because I have to get up and I have to go to work and I have to do things. And then once I start doing that, it kind of gets me motivated again. I just wish I'd stayed motivated on the weekends. And I, that's why I have things to do on the weekends to keep me motivated. I just, it's a lot easier to not do those than it is the other ones because um, I'm not going to get fired <laughs> from church if I don't go on a Sunday. I'm not going to get fired from things for not showing up on the weekends, but I could get fired from my job if I don't show up, but I need the money to pay the bills. So there's that. Um, and then let's see. So, and I have been, except for the weekends, and I think that's my problem is on the weekends, I don't make it my priority to read my scriptures and meditationals first because I don't have to get up and do anything immediately. And because I don't do that first, it kind of just doesn't help me for the rest of the day. And so I kind of skip doing it on the weekends. And I think that's part of my problem. I do much better during the week because I make sure I do that before I go to work because it's like, this is the only way I'm getting through work. So I need to do better at doing that, reading my scriptures and meditationals and praying to see how God sees me and just doing my little writing every day because I just, it makes such a difference in my attitude and my willingness to do things and, and even willingness to make a to-do list of what needs to be done for the day and actually doing it um, versus when I just get up and think, oh, I don't have to get out of bed or I don't have anywhere to go for a couple of hours so I can just play. And then the next thing you know, I, I just play and I drown out the world and then I don't want to do anything. And it's just, yeah, it's not good. So, um, spiritual kind of falls in with all of my social and emotional at this point, um, doing my journaling, doing my praying, um, and not just, like I said, on the weekends, not just listening. I can hear the spirit. I can hear God saying, you know, you've got these things to do. You should get up and do them. And I was like, yeah, I just don't want to, I need to get past the, I just don't want to part. Hence my videos that I'm doing to do things I don't want to do because I know it's good for me. And I, it's really bad when I'm not doing those videos. <laughs> so I need to do better at that. I really do need to do better at that. But that's like pray, listen, read my scriptures. I already talked about that. Um, making my videos, attending church, fulfilling callings, all those things that I'm not quite doing. So a lot of my goals kind of overlap a little bit with each other, but they help in all the different areas, which is why I have them. Um, and then of course, physical. So um, last week, the two weeks before that, I really didn't do a whole lot in the way of, as far as exercising goes. But last week, well, I guess the week before on Friday, I did go um, walk around the store with my daughter. So it's a little bit of exercise. Um, but last week I did go walk around with my friend and I did exercise twice, like get up and exercise before work twice last week. So that was, that was progress on my part. So at least I did it twice. Um, not the best with that. Um, been pretty good at, um, still eating healthy and buying healthy foods. I did, however, buy, I bought chocolate and I bought, 
Um, I bought stuff to make a chocolate mousse for my daughter. And I was really good about not eating the um, heavy whipping cream or the mousse. I didn't try any of that. I mixed it all together and I didn't have any of that. Um, I did, however, buy eggs so that I could mix it in there with it. Um, so I did have eggs and I have put eggs in some muffins and eggs in some pancakes. And I haven't had eggs for probably like almost a year, maybe. I mean, I probably had them in other things that other people have made, but not that I've made or had. So um, I even had some scrambled eggs with avocados um, one night and it kind of upset my stomach. So I'm like, I don't think my body really likes eggs for whatever reason. So probably not the best for me. And I did buy some chocolate to melt into um, for the mousse. I had some cocoa too, but I also did like the chocolate to melt into it. Of course it was milk chocolate. Um, and I did have a little taste of that, just a little taste of that, um, which is not good because one has the milk in it and two, it has the sugar in it. Um, I have been kind of allowing myself a little bit more sugary things, which is not good. Um, but I did put, I did put the powdered sugar. I, I did buy powdered sugar for the mousse and I did buy, probably should have bought regular sugar and I probably bought too much powdered sugar. Um, but I did put the powdered sugar and then in the mousse and I did do the, the whipping cream, um, the heavy whipping cream, but I, I didn't have any of that. I didn't even taste it. I didn't lick the bowl. I mixed it all together and I did not have any of that because I did not want what was going to happen to my stomach if I did that. So I was very proud of myself for not doing that. So as far as like food and, and eating healthier, I'm pretty good at that. And I'm really good at work because people are watching what I eat. Um, not as good at home, but at home, I usually don't buy stuff or have stuff that I can just do that with. So um, I did take a little piece of the chocolate and I was tempted to eat the rest of it. So instead I just kind of melted it and I tried to shave it over the top of the the mousse and it didn't work. So then I just melted it and poured it over the top of the mousse. And again, took a little taste of that, just the melted milk chocolate, but um, just a tiny taste. Not the best for me to do, I know that. But um, like I said, I didn't have any of it mixed in with the whipping cream. I didn't have any of it mixed in with the eggs and all of that other stuff. I was like, not gonna do that. And I didn't have any of the mousse, the final product or anything like that. I gave it all to my daughter for her birthday. Um, so I'm very proud of me for that. Um, so very proud of me for that. Um, also, I did stand on my scale, um, trying to remember exactly what it was saying. I think it always, it's less on Saturdays than it is on Fridays. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, because I think I get a lot more sleep on Fridays nights than I do on Saturdays, like than I do on Thursday nights. So Friday mornings, I usually get my like regular five to six hours of sleep and I don't get to go back to bed right away. And for some reason, I think getting more sleep I don't know why that is, but I feel like it is. I feel like I get a little more sleep and I move around a little bit more. And so sleeping in on Saturdays, for some reason, my scale is a lot lower. So it was like 234, 235. I think it's 234 on Friday. But um, this last Friday, Saturday was 230. And I was like, I'm going to take the 230 over the 234 or the 232, whatever it was. Now I got to look. I'm curious. I had it all. I looked at it before I started my video and then I forgot. So three weeks ago, it was 233.2 on Friday. And then it was 234.4, which is annoying. And then it was 234.6 um, just this last Friday. But a week ago, Saturday, it was 232.2. And then this last Saturday, which was just two days ago, it was 230.6. So I'm going to go with the 230.6 and be like, I'm down to 230. Which when I started trying to lose the weight, I was at like 270. Um, I think the highest my scale ever said was 274, but I'm going with 270. <laughs> so um, so now it means I'm down like 40 pounds, which is good, but it means I've only lost like five pounds this year. So I really need to work on exercising a little bit more. Um, so that would be physical. Um, and then I have mental, mental things. Oh my goodness, mental, mental, mental things going crazy with mental things. So um, mostly just different things to like use my brain besides just at work and having to remember things and trying to keep track of things, um, trying to find different ways to be creative. Um, I do have my song. I looked at that. It's going to be launched on the 31st. So I'm excited about that. I did on March 6th, I sent my book to the person that was going to edit it. And they get, sent it back to me on the 13th. So it only took them a week to edit it instead of two weeks. And they said they really liked it. They got caught up in the story. And so they actually edited it 
sooner than they thought they were going to because they didn't want to stop at the end of the work day because they liked my story. And I was like, cool, thanks for that. And when I like look through the edits and then if I need like another edit when I'm all done, I asked if they could do it again because I noticed on the contract that I signed that they will um, re-edit your book again um, at a discount. So it'll be even cheaper than the time that I, that I just paid for it. So I was like, cool, I can do that. And then she sent back to me and said that she actually also does publish some books and that she actually liked my book enough that she wanted me to consider her um, company to publish my book. And I was like, I'm just like stunned. So I got that email on Saturday. I read that email on Saturday. So um, that just happened this past week. So I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how much that counts as mental stuff or how much that counts as like emotional stuff. Um, but it is working towards goals and things that I want to make me happy in my life. So it is definitely making me happy. Um, I think God is just like opening doors and allowing this to happen because I'm putting forth the effort. I'm paying someone to edit my book. I'm not just like sitting on it and waiting for friends or waiting for somebody else. I'm taking an action. And I took the action and God's like, this is the, the results you get. And so um, right now I just, I want to go through all of the edits. I want to go through the book because she, she did it where it was like track the changes in a Word document so I can look at the edits and accept or reject or I can make changes. And a lot of it, she's like just correcting grammar and spelling and, you know, stuff like that, that I'm not really good at. And I'm like, okay, I'll just accept all of that. Some of it, she puts little comments on the side that something is confusing or doesn't make sense or whatever. And some of it's like, this doesn't make sense with the time era. And I was like, I don't really have a time era. I mean, it kind of indicates that the way that I'm writing and the words that I'm using, but I'm like, it's my own little world. It doesn't have to have a specific time era. It's just my imagination. So I can have things that are out of context or out of time eras as far as like our world goes because it's my own created world i can have things like that so one of them was like shampoo i can't have shampoo because it doesn't fit with the time era and i was like but it's shampoo they want to wash their hair <laughs> they can have shampoo why can't they have shampoo um i don't know so i kind of changed that a little bit i might unchange it i don't know i'm just kind of like but it's my own little world i don't know how having shampoo is going to distract the reader from something like that and it's, like I said, it's not based on a specific, well, I mean, it kind of is because I always liked like old English stuff, um, era, whatever. So it's kind of, kind of has that tone to it when you're reading it, which I like, and it has like, you know, castles and things like that. But at the same time, it's not meant for them to be like completely like backwards and not have any kind of technology. And there are people that have powers and they can do all kinds of cool things. So I'm like, well, why can't they have shampoo? Um, I don't know. <laughs> So it, it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, should I try to make it like consistent with the time era? Because I wasn't really thinking about that when I wrote it and it's my own little world. So I'm not really sure about all of that with the edits anyway. Um, and I also haven't made a decision yet as far as letting them publish my book or still trying to go the self-publish route or whatever. Um, but I just felt excited. So it was just kind of one of those emotionally excited and motivating things for me to get me motivated, motivated about working on my books and working towards my goals. And I think kind of also maybe a little spiritual, like God is um, answering my prayers and showing me that he's helping me to accomplish my goals because I'm putting forth some kind of effort. So I'm like, yay for effort. It's panning out. So I'm very happy about that. I'm excited about that. Um, I did sign up for physical therapy and then I canceled physical therapy because um, I don't know if I've mentioned any of these videos, but um, physically I did, I did go see the dentist and I did have a broken tooth. So I'm going to have to come up with money to pay for my tooth instead of money to pay for physical therapy. So I'm a little disappointed about that. Um, I'm kind of jumping into my finances right now, which is my next one that I need to be looking at my finances on a regular basis. Um, I did pay my bills when I got paid two weeks ago, um, and I have paid my bills for this week for right now. So um, kind of holding on to my bills, the ones that are due at the end of the month, so I'm just kind of holding on to the money to make sure I have enough for that. And I did have enough money in my savings that I had set aside to pay for the edit for my book. So it's not coming out of money that has to be put towards my bills. So that makes me very happy. Um, so there is that. And then I have made a whole bunch of, um, doctor's appointments I didn't really want to do. So that's kind of a mental, emotional thing for me because 
it's hard for me to do things to take care of myself, especially when I'm stressing about money. And I'm still waiting for money to come for an accident settlement. And I already signed the settlement agreement. So I'm like, why is it taking so long to get the money when I already signed the agreement for it? So <laughs> I need to call my attorney and find out where that money is because I kind of need it. But I did finally sign up with the doctors to um, see one that's like a sports um, sports medicine specialist for my wrist. It's an old high school injury that just keeps acting up. So I did sign up for that. So I scheduled an appointment for that, I guess I should say. And um, I've been trying to see the doctor with the ADHD medication and kind of ready to just give up on it. And then he was like, well, we'll just try this because it worked before and we'll just try a lower dosage. And I was like, great, except that I can't find a pharmacy that has the lower dosage. Um, so I'm going to have to try to figure out something else because I tried a different medication and it didn't do anything. And I don't want to keep spending money that I don't feel like I have. Um, not that I'm not worth it because I feel like I'm worth it and I'm hoping that it will help me to focus and help me to stick to do to my goals that I have and to making my videos and to improving myself because that's what I want to do. And maybe it'll help me not have those days and those weekends where I just give in and get depressed and I just don't do anything because I just don't, I have all that time to do stuff and I wish that I would and I just, I don't because I'm like, yeah, I have all the time in the world, which means I don't have to do anything. And I'm like, yeah, stupid ADHD brain, you don't understand all the time in the world isn't really all the time in the world and there's plenty of things to do. So we should be totally productive today instead of we don't have to do anything. I think my brain is like on some kind of opposite thing. So it just automatically does the opposite of what I tell it to do, um, <laughs> which is really frustrating to me. And it doesn't always do that, but sometimes it feels like it does. Um, and I'm not sure if that's an ADHD thing or if that's, like I said, a PTSD thing or if that's just, you know, the way that I was trained and brought up and just not allowed to do stuff that I wanted to do. So I just kind of continue the cycle of not allowing myself to do um, what I want to do, even though it's what I want to do. It, anyway, it, my brain does not make sense to me. My reactions and responses to things do not make sense to me. So if any of you have suggestions on how to deal with that, I'm I'm all for it. Um, <laughs> all for that. So um, anyway, I I would like to have some medication to see if it helps. And it and I it has at some points helped me with my focus, but it was just it was too intense and it was too too much and it was like too drastic of a change, I think, when I took the medication the first time and I was like, oh my gosh, I this is because it was so drastically different than what I'm used to that I just I can't handle that. Like it was too it was too much. So I need a lower dosage just so I can get used to it and then maybe build up to a higher dosage um, because the higher dosage actually, I think it did work really well. It just kind of made me sick to my stomach, which maybe I just didn't take the medication long enough to for my body to adjust to it, which is a possibility. And um, I just kind of lost my appetite, which I didn't really like either. I also lost like five pounds and I was like, cool, but that's not really how I want to lose five pounds. Um, so but it helped me to sleep it helped me to shut my brain off at night and it helped me to like super focus on getting things done which i liked but um it it was just it was so intense and i'm just so the opposite of that like <laughs> and it was frustrating because i kept trying to do more than one thing at a time and it wouldn't let me like the medication would not let me do more than one thing at a time and i'm used to doing more than one thing at a time. I'm used to thinking about something else while I'm doing something. And that's probably why it takes me longer to do things. And it's probably why I mess things up so much. So it's probably good that it wouldn't let me think about more than one thing at a time. But it's it's so hard to have that drastic change. And I realize it doesn't matter how much I want that drastic change in my life. It has to be a gradual thing. It has to be an adjustment to that thing. It can't be an overnight with the medication thing. So um a lower dosage I think would be helpful so I could just adjust to it and get used to it. Um, but I can't find the lower dosage in the store. So I was like, I don't want the <laughs> higher dosage, but the higher dosage worked. So I'm just kind of like, oh, and they have the higher dosage at the store that at the pharmacy, they just don't have the lower one. So I'm still gonna have to talk to my doctor and decide what to do. Um, again, which is frustrating for me. So more mental things, I have to mentally figure this out. I have to financially figure out how to pay for it. And I have to emotionally decide if this is worth it and spiritually decide if this is what God is wanting me to do, or um, if I just need to like let go of that and just, you know, because I've survived this long without it. 
but um, I've heard it does wonderful things. And like I said, it helped me to hyper to focus, but it was just so drastically different. I mean, you can't go 45 years, 44 years of your life, not being able to focus. And all of a sudden, like, now I can only focus on one thing. And it's like, um, don't know how to do this. <laughs> but I did like to shut off my brain and go to sleep at night thing. That was fantastic. So um, still playing around with that, still trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for all of that. Um, and pay for all of the upcoming appointments that I have, which again, I'm hoping to get that settlement money. Otherwise it's going on my credit card and I don't like my credit card going up so high. I don't want my credit card maxed out. So I'm just kind of stressing out a little bit about my finances, but I'm excited because my song is going to launch at the end of the month. And I am excited because someone actually wants to publish my book for me. So, um, I think if I get through, um, this week or next week, all of the edits that she sent me um, and everything looks really good. I think I might actually let her publish my book. And so I'm excited and she'll use the artwork that my friend is doing for my book cover, which I also like too. So I need to like talk to my friend about that and see what she can do. Um, so I'm very excited um, about that. But again, it's nothing set in stone. I haven't signed a contract or anything. Um, I haven't made my final decision. I do want to get through um, my book, the edits that she sent me first and make whatever changes I feel are necessary and see if I like the edits and the direction that it's going. And if I do, then I will probably go ahead and let her publish it. It still means like basically I, I asked her, I sent her an email and asked for the information. So I did get some information and it still means that I'm going to have to be promoting my books. Um, but she'll take a percentage for doing the the all the fine tuning editing and uh, publishing of it and formatting and all of those things and doing all of that stuff that I haven't learned how to do that I would have to learn how to do to self publish so it's kind of you know might be a good idea so we'll see how this goes and if it goes really well and I like it I might do it again with another book so we'll see but I'm excited because I know that things are going forward in a positive direction so it makes me very happy and I'm very grateful to God for showing me that things work when I put forth the effort to do it. And that also makes me very happy. So, um, and I've also noticed that I, my video from my week 20 video, for whatever reason, has like over 600 views, which I don't know how that happened. I don't know what I said in those videos, but I'm like, cool, this is exciting. There's people that are actually starting to watch my videos. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. So I'm grateful for all of you that are willing to watch my videos and put up with me and my crazy ramblings and all of my setbacks and struggles to try to actually follow through on my goals and to make changes because setting goals is one thing but following through on the goals and doing them is a lot harder and I think it's even harder when you have ADHD which I have and I have PTSD and that doesn't help either <laughs> and I have depression and anxiety so that's always fun too so um but in spite of all of that I am I know that I'm becoming a lot happier and very grateful for the things that I have in my life and I am learning how to live my life and I'm learning how to take care of myself and to feel better about myself and I get to share that with all of you so hopefully you're enjoying the journey and change with me and um, like I said if you like these videos you can hit like subscribe share with someone else if you think they'll like it too and um, if you have any questions or comments please feel free to comment below I would love to read them and I hope you have a great week full of gratitude and um, find ways to live a happy and healthy life too.